Yo, man, look what I find up here, man. Yo, look, so check this out, man. The monkey, you got one arm missing, man. What's good, man? Yo, what's up, man? Everything good? Okay. Hey, yo, let me ask you, this monkey bite. Yo, man, welcome to Brazil, man. So I made it to the top of the favelas. Let's tour and see how the locals really live day-to-day -day life. So here we are. We are at the top of Rocinha. I would say at the top of the road. You know, as you just got to see the view, and I classify my neighborhood as the Hollywood. We have a Hollywood view in the hood. Right. <laughs> hey, listen though, I want you to doing? tell them, yo, this is my boy Obi. Listen, you ever come to Brazil? This is the number one man you need to talk. Number to. one in the city. Number one in the city. Obi one, no one can beat. No one can beat, bro. You need to tour the city in the favelas. I'll let Obi. Speak English, Spanish, and Portuguese, so I can show you around the city and we can communicate in multiple languages you know so if you also want to learn some portuguese just let me know because i know english so you know we can talk Word. man this is where we at man we way up here man we way up here man on the top of the favela. At the visual or the lookout, you point. Yeah. And here's where people come normally to smoke weed and enjoy this. So this is point. So this where the people come to smoke their weed at? Yeah. And they don't get bothered, they don't bother nobody, see? Say like right, right. That's what's up, man. So they come <laughs> and blaze they blunt at you. Feel exactly, me? you know. They, nobody mess with them. Nobody they mess with them. Exactly. Here you go. This building right here. Mm -hmm. This is the International American High School based in the Rio de Janeiro City. Okay, that's and the school term is based on an American terms. Like everything they do is based on an American standards. Okay. Know? Okay. It's all about what America say. Yes. And so they learn English as the first language. So they speak English in school like full time. Okay. And from here we got to see the Christ Redeemer. We don't see it because of the haze. It's like red. Okay. You know? And the sugar loaf right there. The tallest mountain in the middle. You can see the lake. We didn't get to see all that because we rode on the ground in the subway. But from here we got to see all the major sightseeing in the Rio. We can see programs. Okay, so, right here. so that's like a school over here? Yeah, it's like a primary school, like a kindergarten for children. Okay. And it's funded by the government. Okay, okay. So yeah, man, we up here on, on the favelas, man, you know. Way up here, man. We took the motorcycle up here, man. I ain't gonna lie though, boy. I'm a little nervous in that motorcycle. Yeah. Man, we're swinging them curves, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, we did the bike ride up here, but you also have the option to walk up. It can take longer than the bike. On a bike, it takes like 15, 20 minutes. Walk can take like one hour, and it depends how fast you go. Right, right. It can take a longer, <laughs> you know. So you got to go this way. Man, a day in Brazil, man. We going to the hills and the valleys right now, man.
What is this? Uh, this is like a new restaurant. I want to show you with you real quick. Like it's recently opened. It's called Guru Visual Restaurant. Okay, new restaurant in the favelas. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me look at this window right quick, see how high we are. Ready? Yes, sir. You want to go first or shall I go first? It don't matter. You go first. No, man. Why don't you have kids? I'm right behind you, man. Would you step in? Make sure you don't fall, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, this is steep. This is the steep hill, man. It's steep right here. Good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, let me grab one of them, man. How much is that? All right, come quick to the ball. This is 7 and the Morango is 8, right? Oh, 7 reais. Oh, $1.50. Aí tem de beijinho, né? Só. Aí só de brigadeiro e beijinho com brigadeiro. Okay, it's like coconut chocolate and this strawberry. Okay. And uh, we say strawberries. What kind? What kind? Wow. This is a cake of beijinho. Okay. This is a cake of morango. Brigadeiro e beijinho com morango. Beijinho com brigadeiro. Let me do this one. Appreciate it. Obrigado. Quer uma colherzinha? Yeah. No, you're right. Can I? Yeah. Turn no change. Be good. Uh, this is my turn. Huh? This is my turn. What? Yeah, hold that one. So what is this right here, man? Uh, this is one of the supper clubs. Let me see if it's out there. Earlier this morning, they had like an event. And the thing's kind of, kind of over, but we're still here. Okay, okay. Right now, so far, so good. You know, a lot of people like to tell different stories, but I like to see for myself. Let's continue on my journey. Welcome to Brazil.
I would like you to try some of these like local snacks. These are like local pastry, homemade by a local shop owners. Okay. You know, it's ham and cheese, ground beef, cochine, it's filled with chicken. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take ham and cheese right there. Uh, Let's follow the cake, bro. Yeah. Okay. Let's follow the cake, man. Let's follow the cake. We're going down in the favela right now, man. Yes. So talking. here's where I used to live with my family. Like, this is more still apartment. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. My mother lived here for 30 years. And I lived here for five years. Okay, okay. In the meantime, we moved to another house. which is like a couple minutes away. So how much square footage your houses are, man? Excuse me? Square footage. I have no idea, another measure. Right, I have right. no idea. Well, this kind of scary going down this hill. Bear with me, boss. I know a lot of people say they'd be off the beaten path. But the real question is, do you really be off the beaten path? I don't do resorts. Nah, me personally, I like to hang with the locals and see how the locals really live. Welcome to Off the Beaten Path. It's a good tour in the favelas, man. Can't come to Brazil without coming to the favelas. Yeah, these neighborhoods are a little different than the one I'm used to. Yeah, he's my crib. Now we're gonna do like an MTV crib tour. Okay, MTV. But made in favela. Word, the favela. This is the MTV Crib Tour for Brazil, man. <laughs> MTV Crib Tour for Brazil. <laughs> MTV <laughs> Tour for Brazil, man. <laughs> Real tour. Hi, uh, MTV uh, Tour. Yeah, welcome in, man. Welcome in. Okay. Make yourself at home, man. Definitely, man. Gotta go. Yeah, that's your cake, baby. Okay, man, yeah, appreciate it, man. Oh, this is my kitchen. You can come and have a look. Okay. Welcome to Brazil, man. MTV Cribs, man, Brazil. Brazil style, MTV Cribs. So how do you like the cake, man? Yo, I'm gonna tell you something, man. Thank you for supporting like the local business. You know, that lady, she's on the hustle every day because you know, I see her like working and I am really appreciating what you're doing like to the community. Definitely, you know? man. Yeah. Showing the community some love, man. I'm gonna tell you the truth though. Bro, listen, let's go get a couple more, man. For real, for real. Tell him. Word, man. Yo, man, I ain't know what's in this thing, but this thing here the truth, boy. I ain't never had it before. What is this right here called, man? Oh, uh, excuse me? What is this right here called? Uh, morango. Bolo de morango. It's strawberry Bolo. cake. Mm. Say it after me. Bolo. Bolo. De morango. De morango. Yes, exactly. Bolo de morango. 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 Yes. Yo, listen, bro. I need some more. Delicioso. Say, está delicioso. Está delicioso. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man. Muy delicioso. See, step by step, you're learning the language. That's how you do it, man. Where? Just so, keep grinding, and then it's going to improve your skills. So right now, man, I'm learning some Portuguese. You know what I'm saying? My Spanish is pretty good. Yeah, man. I'm trying to delicioso, man. Está delicioso. Muy man. delicioso. Keep eating, bro. Man, what's up, bro? I know, I can tell. I want to go get a You're couple busy. more. You want to go get a couple more? For real. Mm. Real talk, man. But I definitely, man, there's some great footage over here, man, because coming into the favelas, man, people made it like it's the most dangerous thing to do, man. You know what I mean? But it seemed all right to me, man. I mean, I guess you just got to be careful who you go with. This is like... Everywhere, not just here in Brazil, anywhere in the world. Yeah. 
you gotta be careful. You have to watch like you know your surrounding stuff. Yeah, people, you know, and I travel a lot. I go to a bunch of countries, right? People in my country always tell me, hey, man, boy, you better be careful out there. Now, nah, homie, you better be careful with your own friends in your neighborhood. <laughs> you feel me? So they say I go into dangerous places because I do go in a lot of dangerous places outside of the country. But, you know, people, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, they own, they own neighborhood dangerous. You know what I mean? So what's the difference, man? The real. Yeah, what makes the neighborhood look dangerous is the media, I would say. Because you experience yourself and you see like, it's yeah. a pretty normal area, like, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty safe. Hey, yo, listen though, man, that dude was swinging that motorcycle, man. Yo, I ain't know they be driving up the hills like that. <laughs> For real, they be getting it, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man, about to go up on top of the building. Get a look and see what's happening. Yeah, man, get a little nightcap on what's happening up here on the top of the favelas. You know what I'm saying? Look over the whole city, man. Tour of Brazil, and that's the star right there, man. This is my crib, man. Welcome to my crib, bro. Hey. Yeah, welcome, y'all. Make sure whenever you're in the Rio, you book your tour with me, man. Yo, this your man right here. Make sure you book your tour with Favela Brothers. Hey, that's real. Yeah, if you're willing to have like a really dope experience, I'm the man for that. No one can beat. Yo, this right here is, yo, this scary right here, man. Whew. Yo, I'm telling you. But this, this is what it's like going off the beaten path, man. You can't be scared. Here's what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, it's going through the valleys right here, man. Yeah. Real talk. What you get the experience about Yo. living in a favela? The favela, One man. I think you still be as a tourist, the other thing is still live as a local, man. Yeah, what do, man. Yo, this real talk, man. You know what, though? The experiences. Yeah, if you live like a local, that's how we do it, man. That's how we do that's it, man. That's how we do it every day, bro. Word. Everyday living, man. Everyday living, man. It's different, man. I'll tell you one thing, though. You know what's so good about it? It's definitely. The experience is great, man. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. I love the experience, man. Yeah. Oh, 
man, I can't even see these stairs. I'm, I'm right behind. Okay. You see some of the street art over here? Right. I mean, street art, man. I don't know if you can see my shed light. Right Going through the favelas at night time, man. That's how the locals live, man. A lot of the locals. So, you know, you want the real experience, just what you get. Uh, could you please step aside? Like, make way Okay, somebody got to come through. So what is this? Uh, this is my my barber, Samuel, and he's the owner of the barber shop. Uh, one of like the many talents we got in the favela. Right, favela barber, man. I'm going to get you you want to do it? Huh? You want to do it? Like, 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 So now we are standing here at the public housing area in Hossin. You know, these apartment blocks, they were built by the government a few years ago. Between 2014 and 2016, when the World Cup and the Olympic Games was brought to Brazil. So this is the projects right here? Yeah, these are the projects. So how much people pay for rent over here a month? Uh, actually, people don't pay for this apartment because they used to have a house here in the favela. Okay. The house was demolished, they were taken away, and they got back with this apartment. It was like, it was in a given and take. Okay, trade-off. It was like a trade-off. It was all a lie. 
The favelas was not bad as people made it out to be. That's why I like to go see for myself. I had a great experience. Welcome to Off the Beaten Path.